Hey guys, Chivy here, and uh, today we're doing a little uh, Adobe Premiere Elements 9 tutorial. I'm going to go through step by step to help you guys just basically understand the program so you can edit well, all that kind of good stuff. Now, uh, so let's get this started then. So uh, we're going to basically set it out, the episodes, into different, different, ep we're going to set this uh, tutorial series into different episodes according to these tabs, basically. So, uh, first we're going to do, of course, organize and uh, basically get to know the interface. If you open Premiere, though, it's probably going to open into a, uh, a scene line like this, where you would just drag your clips in there, in order, and then hit play and then Thunder will get you and then it would play nice piano music but uh, we're not gonna do that because scene line doesn't allow you that much variety or that much creativity with your editing so we're gonna go into timeline mode here where as you can see it's a little different now, we're going to start with the interface first, uh, not really adding media, that kind of stuff, but you kind of have to add media, so we'll do, uh, we'll add media, you can actually let me go through this, so, if you hit get media, get it from a DV camcorder, so you plug in all your stuff, webcam, get it from webcam, um, uh, like a camera or, or your phone, but what I usually like to do is files and folders because that's really convenient. You can get it from everywhere. Let's just get I don't know, this might take a while to add it. Let's drag that in there or something. Don't think we'll be playing it though because it might be. In fact, it's probably copyrighted, so yeah. In fact, it is copyrighted. So now you know how to add media. Let's go get around with all the basic stuff. So here it says how long, right here, see here? It says how long you are into the video, and you can drag it, but I prefer to drag this. Although that can, that's good for if you want to be a bit more accurate and precise with your timing. So we're in selection tool right now. So this is where you select stuff. You can cut, copy clear delete and close gap which does that and uh, another delete and close gap thing you can do is if you right click on here it'll, it'll do that and uh, replace effects mask that's if you have effects and you want to compare what it, the original with the effects the the original clip with uh, after you put the effects on Unlink the audio and video from a clip so you can edit it separately. Fade, that basically is very self explanatory. So if we faded this out, it would go like. Actually, it's a very bad example. If we fade this out, um, then if we hit play it slowly fades out to black and it'll do the same the audio will slowly um slowly fade out and you can do the same with fading in and uh... what's another thing video merge we'll get into that later time stretch we'll get into that later it's very cool rotate very self-explanatory um, field options, get into that later. Frame blend, that just makes it nice and smooth. Yep, so, uh, what else? Scale to frame size, get into that later. Audio gain and beat detect, we'll get into those later too. Rename, self explanatory. Yeah, basically, every, everything else here will just get into later because this is a basic one and uh, here we have you know play uh, go back a frame or two rewind go back to previous edit point so that would be uh, just between the clips you can skip between clips and uh, you know just play it backwards 
It's pretty cool because it does a sound backwards too. Yeah, I always love doing that, but you can actually time stretch, you can do that permanently and render it backwards, but like I said, we're getting that later. Uh, time stretch tool, then again, getting into that later, probably around the end of this tutorial. Smart trim mode. Now this you can, it'll start auto-analyzing stuff and trim it according to when it thinks it's like a different scene, that kind of stuff. Motion tracking mode, uh, we'll get into that later. Properties, if you click that it'll open up all the different properties. So uh, this so far all the, because we haven't added any effects, all it has is motion, opacity, we can change the clip opacity. If there was something behind it, it would reveal more of what was behind it. Uh, volume. Uh, change your volume, and you can, as you can see, there's a little fade in, fade out thing there. Balance, I just, I think that's just basically left and right here, and stuff or how it balances. You know. And uh, here we have markers, menu markers. These can be used for DVD menus, motion menu thing. All kinds of stuff. Uh, scene, main menu, stop marker, name, add the name, uh, all kinds of stuff like that. Now we're going to go into media. This is where you can select all your stuff. You can tag stuff, but that's a, another story for another time. You can select albums. All kinds of stuff like that. What's projects? You can get, if you select a project, you can see here's some footage from that project. Uh, as you can see, I've got quite a few projects. So you can just go last six months and it'll come up with all the stuff you've done in the previous six months. All the footage you've added. As you can see, it's a lot of Minecraft footage. It's what I used to edit. Select tag. You can add tags. That's an organizer thing though, not an elements thing. And higher. And lower only, that's just ratings, if you go 5 stars and higher, 3 stars and higher, to, I don't give any of my stuff rating, so, newest first, oldest first, you can add details, names, that kind of stuff. Okay, so instant movie, this is basically for if you want to get something done quick and get it to look kind of professionally. So, uh, so uh, select assets to be included in this movie, let's just select that. Um, and select that, and select that. Next. So let's just call it a uh, road trip. Next. We'll call it my road trip, directed by me. You know, it's auto edit, auto analyze, apply. So yeah, you can see what you uh, instant movie does for yourself later on, but that's basically how you set it all up, and it'll just make an instant movie project it'll have all this stuff this isn't in here you can do kind of it'll tell you movie movies audio and, uh, and video video is just plain old video no sound and uh, uh, I can't remember what it says for sound Ooh. yeah but, uh, tells you huh, 60 FPS 29 maybe that's why my hard drive keeps getting eaten up I record at 60 FPS Anyway, so you can double click to preview as usual. And uh, here you can filter by hide video, show video, hide audio, hide pictures, you know, all that kind of stuff. Media type, frame rate, media duration, uh, it's all it's all kind of that kind of stuff. So, uh, cool. Now let's do a bit of time stretching, I think. So you click on the little button there and you can go into time stretch mode. You're gonna just take it to around here, time stretch it so it's super quick. So if we listen to this, let's do it to slender though, because then you can see the uh, the video speeding up. Let's speed it up even more. Speed the whole thing up to about this much. So if we hit play, it might take a while to maybe render it or something. So that actually sounds so cool. So it's getting kind of annoying. Then wander around. You know? 
Okay, that was so cool at the end there. But, uh, time stretch mode can also be used to a, uh, better, kind of more, more detailed interface. If you right click and press time stretch, you can do more stuff with it. Speed, you can check out percent, how long it lasts. So if we want that slender clip, clip to, bleh, slender clip to last for 10 seconds. Actually, I think I just pressed 10 milliseconds. If it'll play. Yeah, I think I did. So, uh, well, that was, grr, there we go, uh, time stretch, so we open up time stretch again. Ah, I think I, one second, I meant to do ten, there, that's probably it. So if it goes to ten seconds, this is now ten seconds. So if we open up time stretch again, we can reverse it, maintain the audio pitch, so it, uh, doesn't go all high pitched, or we can make it low pitched or high pitched, depending on whether you speed it up or slow it down. So let's do that for now. Now let's have a look at it. So it's all sped up and uh, it's backwards. So yeah, this is a pretty cool program full of good video editing fun, but you guessed it, we're not done yet. And uh, remember how I showed you about that cut tool? You can use it here, split text, you can add a caption, add text, hello, and you can do all kinds of stuff with this text, like make it different fonts, you know, make it italic, make it in the center, and if you go into selection, you can basically just, it would act as if it were a, like a file or something, and it's only lagging because I'm recording, guys. I don't have a laggy computer or anything. Well, it's not really lagging, but if we go into here, what is it? And just make, you know, just other text rectangles. The lips, you can make circular bits to put your text in. Rounded rectangle, let me make one. You can make round rectangles to put them in. Lines, you can just put in lines. Actually, I don't think this adds text at all. This just adds shapes. What's this? Vertical center? Horizontal center. Color properties. Uh, let's make it red. Something's going to change to red here. Oh, yeah, that line right there. So, but these just aren't added randomly. There is a certain science behind what's going on here. Now, this is, this is just going to be a whole bunch of layers. Here's title. So if we go and we go on a title, then we can... They're all like little... You know, if we delete title, then away they all go. So it's all pretty fun stuff. Now, and this freeze frame... Uh, let's time stretch slender back to its roughly normal amount. Now, if we want to frame, frame it, the moment where I see the page. Alright, it's on backwards, isn't it? So we don't want it to do that. We just Let's just time stretch it normal so you can go back to 100%. Cool, um, there we go, and it'll be back to normal. So say we wanted just to freeze it when, at this frame. So what we would do, I just like this mode, we'd hit the freeze frame button for five seconds, or you can edit it in Photoshop if you have it, insert in movie, or you could export it, so now if it goes like, Let's take it over here, so if we wandering around in this scary slender footage as slender freezes, what's gonna happen? And then I walk towards him, and then I die. So, um, yeah, we're gonna get into some more detailed editing kind of stuff in the next tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, though, while I, uh, while you're watching it, you know, give it a like if it helped, you know, subscribe for more, 
And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed.